Hello everybody, it's your boy Warmster back again in today's episode of Mod Review. So in today's episode of Mod Review, we're going to review the Age of Imperialism, uh, a mod by Italian PNC. He also sent me a mod, uh, I think it's called the Bliss of Ancient, uh, back in, I think for a long time. I haven't reviewed it, my schedule is quite tight. So we have Age of Imperialism, which is released today. Link will be in the description if you guys want to download it. Uh, also subscribe to the modder as well, Italian PNC. His channel will be in the description down below as well. So in this mod, if we can tell that Imperialism, uh, just go to the new game and you can see all this button, everything looks so like Baroque. They call it the, the 18, sorry, the 16th, 17th century thing, you know, like Napoleon era. And now you can see we have uh, lots of scenario. We have the 2021, the calm before the storm, a uh, modern day. You got uh, the new order, horizon red star. So let's see 2021. And you can see Germany, Poland, Austria, Slovakia. And I, oh my, I, I, I gotta say it. I like the way that he made the ocean look like this. It's like looking to a map. And for those who used to play, uh, Hoi 3, I think you guys will be familiar with this map as well. I also love the fact that the texture is, you know, like a, a little bit retro. And uh, he gives you the dot, which, you know, like, tell you that, oh, this is the forest. This is the plain. Uh, this is the mountain. This is the mountain right here, the dark one. And the less dark, some of these are mountains, some of these are uh, forest. So this just look really clean, really nice, and looks so retro. I do like this one, it looks really retro, and you can tell what it is just by the look of it. And you can see each flag has a retro style design to represent the flag as well. And you can see the new order, which is Horizon Red Star, 1962. Hopefully this is historical. Uh, no, this one is like uh, the new order. Yeah, it's the new order, my apologies. Uh, Victory of the Axis, you can see the Great Germanic Rite, you got Right Commissariat Ukraine, Right Commissariat Moscow, you got Right Commissariat Caucasus, you got Right Commissariat Auslan, and so on and so on, and the Soviet Union as well. And you, right now we can finally see that Russia is fully up, meaning that there's no longer half Russia. Now it's fully Russia. So I believe that this mod might focus on a real map more than anything. That's why we can see the whole thing. And Thousand Week Right, uh, also another Axis scenario as well, where they won the uh, war against the Soviets and the Allied forces. This time the Soviet exists. The last version, the Soviet was, wasn't exist and they were divided into multiple state, multiple government. And now we got Germany and also the Reich Commissariat as well, four of them. Uh, but this time we don't have a Gandhi, but uh, we have Angela Merkel. I think that's the problem with that. Uh, Allied with the French state. Denmark, Slovakia, Recommissar Ausland, so on and so on. That's pretty good. And if you look into another scenario, we got a Kaiserreich 1937. Uh, probably the event of World War One, where they won the war, yeah. And you can see the French state, Austria-Hungary, Italy, Romania, Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. Meaning this time, uh, the Germans won the war and they liberated Ukraine and Belarus. World War II from the Second Great War. Yes, we've seen it multiple times before. And now we got a new glimpse of it. I also see that there's an event, so you guys can choose on the event as well. This one is 1936, beginning of the end. It's the start of the World War One. sorry, World War II, uh, where you have three years for preparation as well for this one. Führer Reich, a scenario where, yeah, Walkis Germany, that's quite a strange name. And you got Rhine Zone, uh, Poland, a new Poland, which is quite strange. Maybe, you know, they just uh, demand the Danzig and they just give it to them. You know, maybe. Something like that. And India right now is a civil war in uh, British Raj. And Tibet is stretched almost to mid of China. And Russian Republic also exists as well. Shooter Reich. And the Red Flood 1935. Oh, this is suggested state. French, Germany, and Sweden. This is a new one. I never heard of it. My apologies. You got Rotanak Kosin. You got Indus China Empire. You got Ling Guang. Is it right? Ling Guang. National, Restor National Restorations Alliance. Okay. Uh, the Beiyang government. 
di Mantetsu di Gel Toros Torosia, probably Japanese, and Korean government. We got Anhui, Sipai Sanma. All of these are whoa, whoa, so many state, bro. You got German Socialist Republic. Oh, maybe all the world became communist, except British Empire, United States. You got Turkish War of Independence. Oh, with a van. Damn, bro. This is quite new. Okay, you got Turkey, Italy, and so on, so on. Kaiserach, Kaisersch, Kaiserschach. Oh my God, Kaiserschach. Probably a uh, World War One was it? Nineteen eighteen. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's an alternate scenario where the German Empire managed to hold against the uh, the French and the British uh, assault and hold it till the end of the war. And Russia is fighting the civil war as well. We got World War One also with the Vend, yes, such as country, uh, British Empire, sorry, Great Britain, German Empire, and France. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a look at it later. Germany, France, and United Kingdom. And you got 1910, the power kick of Europe. So this one is early. The it's like gathering the storm as well. Uh, preparation for World War One and uh, something around here in the Balkans. Uh, fall of the Russian Eagle, 1905. This is quite strange. 1905. This is way earlier. Nicholas the first. So there will be an event talking how would they separate it and the Rania. They haven't yet united. So soon, I guess. French Empire. Oh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Wait, 1905. Napoleon Bonaparte is this? Ooh, I never heard of it. Hmm, maybe wrong date or something? 1890, Scramble for Africa. This is where the colonization starts. You can see the German Empire, Cape of the Good, Good what? Good Hope. Uh, Belgian Congo, France Congo, uh, Kedivet of Egypt, you got uh, Madi Sudan, you got Abyssinia, you got Yao, you got Sokoto, Mozi, Bamana. Morocco, French Algeria. Okay, so pretty much everybody just scrap scrabbling for that. And a good year as well here. United States, Dominion of Canada, Brazil, and you got 1865, South Africa. Probably some civil war or uniting the states. Base game, Victoria era scenario. I've seen that one multiple times. 1830, the end of the Russo Turkish War. Okay, so there will be a war between here, between the Russians and the Ottoman Empire. Uh, this one, I think, after Napoleon, yeah, Congress of Poland. And we have a wave of independence, 9, 1825. Probably uh, independence in, you know, uh, the states of South America. And you got Rotanak Kosin, you got the Wing Dynasty, you got Great Weird Wing Ding. What's next? You have the start of the new era, 1820. The Congress of Vienna, main scenario, play zero aggressive event, yes, so 1855. Napoleonic Wars, okay. Emperor Napoleon, 1805, 1810. There might be some small changes. So let's see Napoleon, 1810. Okay, French Empire, yeah, the stretch. Russian Empire, oh, only that, no Asia, okay. Uh, might be reducing the lag as far as I concern uh, Emperor Napoleon 1805 18, oh, yeah, 1805 when it starts and you got the Revolutionary Wars 1800s okay so here what I th think about this mod uh, the thing is I like the most is the oh I haven't yet tried the event my apologies. Uh, let's try the event first. But I want to give you guys my thought. Uh, regardless of the event, I will give this an 8 out of 10. Why? Because I like the color. The color is new, it's fresh. The map is like the old map, the, the river, sorry, the ocean. They make it like the old maps, where it belongs to the old map we used to see in our retro books back in the days from the, you know, 1980s or something. It's actually good. And I do like the way that he painted the color. Of the uh, of the nations and the texture 
to make it different and also the font the font is really good it looks so like in, like back in the days uh, during these 17 or 18th century uh, where they make it look like that and the white color fits so well I like that one but now let's try the German Empire event right here let's see how it goes okay oh a lot of cash and uh, let's just random I will not go for colonies why do we need colonies anyways okay Mm, I think so many troops for this one We also got a nation's wonder on the city as well where you got this one the winter palace you got the Kremlin you got the Brandenburg gate You got the Big Ben you got the Paris and you got the Statue of Liberty yeah, looks pretty good though. 1914. What could go wrong? Oh, the Russian bear shall tremble beneath our might. Wait, war? Oh, it's too early, bro. This is war now, huh? I'm not ready. Please, I'm at. Oh, I'm only Russia. So I'm at war with Serbia and Russia. Will that instigate the United Kingdom as well? We'll see. Okay, let's try attack. One or two. I also love the, the new cursor. Looks pretty old. Oh. Join war against the. Okay. Of course they're attacking me. Germany declared wars. All Europe is in arms. We War has been declared against France. Bro! It's too fast! Can you just stop for a minute? I think I should be ready for this. Like, I shouldn't just stay like idle. Okay. Oh, there's a colony in Africa. That's where you need to handle all the stuff. Bruh. The only way to pass through France the line is through Belgium. And now we attack Belgium. Nice. What a nice way to start this war. Okay, so I will cut them off here at Ostrava and at Baitom, this one here, and to Warsaw, and just hold around the Baltics like that. I'm gonna cut them off right here at Brest and Bleistuk. Okay, they also push as well, but it's fine. Uh, more important is that they attack us at our colony state, so there might be some stuff that we need to work on later. Artillery, Big Bertha, destroy a Belgian fort. We shall advance. So we got at 4,000 unit at leash. Okay. Pretty nice. The event is actually good. It gives you the great stuff. So this one I think is only for PC. For Android, it's not yet done. Or maybe it won't be able to make into Android as well. So we're going to hold this one here. I don't want to land on my ally troops. The thing about fighting this one is you to let go of your colonies here. Or I could just, you know, like, how about I just send them or maybe release them as a puppet. And don't ask them to go to war. Okay. So, just a few rounds, uh, about 90 turns. I do like this one. It's fresh, it's new, it's actually great, and uh, the event, the amount of troops, it's balanced, even though it's a lot, but it's balanced because uh, each nation will have a different type of unit, and uh, this one looks pretty good with a clear, fresh, looks like Hoi 3. I would love to do this more. Anyways, we will be more camping, camp, uh, playthrough with all you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Link will be in the description if you guys want the mod. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.